And we're back to more Piers No Mercy campaign, part two. Yeah, it went pretty well in the first video, if I do say. Not bad. And it helped, I had an awesome partner, so that helped a lot. Too bad that person's not online right now. So, well, hopefully, I, whoever I get, you know, will do fine. Do unnecessary things, I don't know, stuff like that. Okay, I was on Mercury on the war. And with the game like last time, will take forever for no reason to create the game session. Why? Yeah, well, I won't. I wish they did. I really wish that RE7 was co-op. You know, it might be like Dead Space 3, where, you know, you play by yourself, you're by yourself. No AI with you at all. You know, you're just you, that's it. And then when you play online, obviously you're going to have a partner. Or even have a split screen, if that's even possible, you know. Which it may or may not, because the game is gorgeous graphically, so I don't know if it can handle that. It might. I'm not sure it could. Like, I mean, I feel like it probably could. I mean, but, yeah, but obviously, I mean, I don't know who the co op partner would be. Uh, it might just be two Ethans, I don't know. And I can have it maybe where you can customize your Ethan with how you want to look, just to change it up, maybe. Or to make it cool, or you can where you can choose, you know, the any character throughout the series, like not every character, but like the big ones, you know, like Chris, Claire, Jill, you know, stuff, the character, you know, the big characters throughout the series, you know. Wait, wait, wait. All right, here's the perfect partner. I got it. All right, they could. All right, I know, I know who it should be. I mean, that idea I just said was awesome, but. How about this? The co-op partner is Chris from Resident Evil. Well, that even is him. We don't know yet. Whatever. That, that we're just saying. We're just calling him Chris. <laughs> what if I made him the co-op partner? Like, but you only you gotta beat the game single player first. And when you beat it, you unlock you know the Wesker pistol and you unlock co-op, where Chris can be your co-op partner. Or you can play as Chris in single player if you want to. Like, I'm, I just to me that'd be an awesome idea. I, I would love that. And also, they could they could have easily. I mean, well, maybe not easily, but I don't know if it might be harder. And they could have done the mercenaries again in seven. They have time crystals and stuff, and you know, the areas from the games, and you fight molded together. I mean, you never know. I'm sure it's possible. Okay, you start off whatever guns they give you or whatever, and you can find some throughout the level. Or you have to do something specific to get it. You know, like a powerful weapon or something. Say, like, I don't know, like a grenade launcher. You can't get it because you need to, I don't know, kill a certain amount of enemies or... Yeah, find a key or a slate or something to put in there to like unlock it. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, I know RE7 has game, extra game modes like uh, Nightmare and, or whatever, which I mean, that was fun, I will say. It was pretty fun. And then also that Ethan Must Die mode, but that's really for hardcore people. I tried it, I never went back to it. Not saying I couldn't do it, it's just, it's, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much where every enemy kills you in one hit, basically. <laughs> You're trying to survive. That's really all it is. And uh, the nightmare mode where I don't, I don't feel like it's playing that tech rare. I may or may not do a video on the nightmare, night, nightmare thing. I'm, I just hope I can get it in one go. Because once you, if you die on that. Well actually no. Like If you buy one of those continue things. You can revive yourself basically. And continue where you were. Now if I don't have one of those. Then you, if you die it's game over. You have to restart from the beginning. I 
not have to, ugh, I don't have to redo this video. Man, this is a good conversation. I think it was a good commentary out of it. Well, to me it was. Some, you know, just saying some ideas out for RE7. Well, I don't know yet. Alright, well, I mean, another thing, I don't know, I just might as well say it. I mean, they just, well, not confirmed, but there's like a NeoGAF. You're, you know, I'll be honest, I really don't know what NeoGAF. I've heard, I mean, I've heard of NeoGAF. I think it's like one of those form things. Oh, hey. Alright, you ready? Let's go. Alright, remember to put my SMG on semi 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 medic. Okay. <laughs> I just jumped right over this place. I do like the herb pickup sound in this game. It sounds nice. Knock the flare down for you if you're down there. Get crystals right now. Or the ones above ground. The ones I know about. I remember when I first played the game, I was, ho I was hoping this would be a mercenary map, this area of the game, and it was, I was happy. <laughs> to me, you know, I was playing the game, I was like, man, this would be a perfect mercenary map. And they did it, actually. You know how large it is? It'd be cool. And luckily they did it. Of course, you had to buy it, though, because screw you! And your walls. Alright, that's good enough time. Let's start. More than enough time. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure a big boy's coming. More than likely. Yeah. Sure, we killed enough. We're dealing with crows here. Oh, I guess I need to boost. Never mind. Oh, we unlocked the secret enemy. This is a bloodshot, I think.
Oh, no, that sound is. Watch out, the big guy's here. What are you doing that way? Big boy again. Never oh, oh, At least ain't doing much damage. Okay.
RPG somewhere. Oh, there he is. Oh, another one! Huh? Watch out, big explosion. <laughs> that cleared him out, dude. Another one. Oh, there comes the big thing again. Maybe you shot him, I don't know. For some reason I went to that one anti-tank round. Oh well. That went pretty well. Man, we get a perfect combo, but it still went really well. I've done all the Wabo levels first, then I'll do the zombie levels. Mainly because the Jawabo levels are easier. Screw the zombie levels. Ah, they're annoying. I'm um, also playing Piers in all of them. Yeah, until this game, I don't think I've never heard of the name Pierce before. I don't think I have. Oh, 
I think it resonated with three, uh, you know, that first aid spray. That carrying thing where you can hold like three at once. I always like that one. Well, I mean, I, well, I mean, I, mean, I try my best not to use first aid sprays in that game because they can be great, I think. Still a cool idea, though. Cool. I got spaghetti on, man. Watch out. Not anymore. I really like how his SMG sounds in the Revelations too. To me, it sounds cooler than in this game. You know, the one you get from doing that graveyard puzzle? Yeah, well, I guess, well, not, I don't guess you really, Yeah, it's sort of like a graveyard. I mean, it's gravestones and stuff.
They like old games where first ace prey is counting against you. The mercenaries as well. That'd be cool. I actually should do it in the main story too. Counting against the grade at the end of each chapter or section or whatever. That'd be cool. I don't know why they don't bring that back. The Resident Evil 7 doesn't even have that. And it's more like a traditional Resident Evil. You're starting to get close to those things that explode, they don't. Clear them out. I'm surprised he didn't kill me there. Like when he grabbed me, I only had one cube left. I thought for sure he was gonna kill me. He got crushed me, but he actually didn't. Now, nah, yeah, I would have died if I failed a QTE, but luckily I didn't. Dang, like, but yeah, at least our well, man, we didn't, we almost had a full combo for no for that dickhead. But well, our combo is way better, so there's that at least.
All right, this is the last, uh, last Dwabe level. I had to get it, I had to think. This one, this one's not too hard. This one's pretty easy. To me, it's probably like the easiest Dwabe level. Pretty big open area. Pretty big area. Like that. <laughs> Pretty big level, though.
Cody. Mostly coming to you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like nothing up here, really. Yeah, I got went through both of those the wall though and killed an ape head up behind him. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm not going to reach that. Huh?
I still got almost a hundred left.
Yeah, I better give them to us, I swear. Ah, barely killed it. With your help. Doesn't matter now. Where's the last one at? Oh, come on, where? I expect me I didn't expect us to find it. <laughs> I don't know where he is. I ain't trying to come for him. Unless it's a nightbed being slow. Could be. Uh, what the hell is it? <laughs> is it stuck? Just sit here for six minutes. Thermal scope. What the hell? This is dumb. <laughs> I've just never happened to me before on a plane. Wait, I hear him. Or a whole heart in somewhere. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> so dumb. Wasting our time. Just ended already. I swear this enemy glitched right now. Where are they spawning at? It must be stuck in it. In the ocean. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere. That's all I'm trying to do. <laughs> I don't see anything. Yeah. I mean, I can hear you better now. You might clutter. Yeah, I was looking everywhere. I swear, one area I heard him, I think. But I think he's just, like running, but he's like stuck. I don't know where that was. I, I got hurt.
I don't guess we're gonna be sitting there until the time then. Oh, that's gonna do it. Wait. Huh. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna let you keep the car, dude. Oh, I got a minute left. I had a full combo again, but then the game's like, nope, not getting this time either. One up, one away. That was the game's fault, though. Not our fault. It's kind of stupid bullcrap, isn't it? 